Today we're shipping out a Viking 130 for your Kit Fox 7. It's gonna leave here today and we're gonna go over kind of the pieces and parts and everything that goes in a standard firewall forward kit. Everything that's in this kit can be slightly different depending on which airplane you're using from your mounts to your cowling to maybe your radiator or your fuel system depending on which options you chose. But we'll go through every uh, piece and every system and kind of what they do. So obviously you can see that the mount here is very specific for the Kit Fox. Then we have um, the cowling. And then in this box here, we have just your standard exhaust with a spring um, that goes on it. This is how we attach it. And then it has a little diagram in here that goes with that as well. He's also ordered our cowling hinge and pin kit, which is nine feet of the cowling hinges with some undersized pins, which make it really easy to uh, remove and take off if you need to and for easy inspection. Okay, and so obviously we have four engine mount bushings and all the hardware and the setup that goes with that. So if you watch the installation videos, you can easily see how we mount the engine. Shouldn't take you too long. It's a pretty straightforward setup and uh, these just go with it. And here we have some of the basic items that get supplied for electrical. You've got your starter relay, two of diodes, um, a little bulkhead to put your ECU connectors through the firewall, um, and two engine bus are usually in here as well, but they're in back order. You have your standard contactors, uh, two are obviously needed, uh, along with your key switch, and then we also supply two of the PC310 Odyssey batteries that go in that kit. Okay, so the next little section we're gonna go over is your cooling system. So we already have the radiator, the shroud, and all the pieces that go with that boxed up and ready to go. But here are some of the little pieces that are included in the kit. Here's your uh, silicone pieces, your attachment, and you also have the clamps that go with that all to make your air filter um, attached to the engine. And we use uh, the K&N air filter. It's really great, and if you wanna keep cleaning it, we have cleaning oils and stuff to go with it as well. Then we get into your radiator hardware. You've got a little bit more radiator hardware here as well. Then we have all the plumbing. So we have all the pieces here that are already pre-beaded for you. So they're pretty plug and play. And you have all your little clamps that you're gonna need along with some silicone hoses. So you've got quite a few silicone hoses here. This could vary depending on your setup, but for the most part, it's pretty standard. Then you have just an overflow bottle for your gearbox oil. Um, and then you also have one here for your coolant as well. So they're all fitted with the right barbs and everything. We make it as plug and play as possible. So you have this little kit that all winds up turning into your cooling system. So in the midst of all of these little systems that are gonna be in your box, probably the most important is the one that's gonna hold your computer. Obviously the engine can't do anything unless it has this little computer here. So the computer's also gonna be in there along with uh, your standard stuff. We like to supply every customer with a shirt, a cap, some stickers, and then you're also gonna have just kind of like a standard setup, kind of showing you like your standard start and stop procedures, your basic information, your RPMs, your standard maintenance, your annual inspection, some wiring information, and there's also a little bit more information that goes with each engine, but I won't go through that separately with your serial number and all that kind of stuff. And it's also available online too, so it's not like it's hidden anywhere. So just that little box as well. Okay, so next I wanna get into the fuel system a little bit. So we have some fuel injection hose. It's important that it's fuel injection hose and not just your standard fuel hose, not just for a longer life on the hose itself, um, but because of the pressures in the system. A lot of times we'll supply uh, 50 feet, 40 feet, just depends on uh, what people want and where they're at in their build. But we have it all here for everybody. And then you have your check valve assembly along with a diagram on how to kind of put that together. And then some clamps. You've got a high pressure fuel filter. And then we also use those for before the fuel system just because they're higher quality with the quick disconnects that are able to go on to them, it makes change out really easy as well. So that's what we like and that's what we supply in the kit. We've got some spare fuel fittings for your installation along with some a Whitaker clamps here or pliers here that'll go with your Whitaker clamps also to be used in your cooling system as well. 
And then I've got a prop spacer here. The prop and the spinner are typically drop shipped. So those will be headed directly either from Whirlwind or Duke or whomever, whatever they have decided on um, as far as a propeller. So that'll go straight to them. The only time it typically leaves here from us is if it's one of the variable pitch options because it's a little more complex and we add a little bit more onto the engine. So if you look at, this is our mini header setup. So you have the two fuel pumps along with the connectors and the disconnects and all these little extra pieces so you can put them on kind of however you want as far as your setup. So a lot of people have seen our 2.5 header tank system or our 1.75 header tank system and that has that sending unit in it. That's supplied for a lot of the Zenith high wings. Um, this particular setup is calling for our mini header. So that's his setup and that's what's going on. Okay, so we're back here in the stock room a little bit and something I kind of thought was worth mentioning is a lot of what you just saw packed up is a very standard kit. Um, there are a lot of extras that we offer, um, just like anybody, I suppose, but I feel like we kind of really get in depth into trying to help the builder and make this as simple a process as possible. Um, that varies from airplane to airplane. Um, I'm holding in my hand, for example, our steel bungee. Um, we sell these for 701s, that's what this little size here is. Um, but we also have them for 650s and 750s and 801s and kind of the whole the whole thing. So that's something, you know, we have like 700 of those out in the field. So it's a very common sale here. Um, and a lot of times we'll ship those with your standard Zenith kit. And then we have other things, like we have the big header tank clamps that will go when we use um, these big header tanks with the sending units and everything in them. A lot of times we have um, battery boxes and little pieces that we've had machined um, to kind of hold them wherever you want them in place. We also have a lot of the pre-wired panels we're doing a lot of lately. So people that are maybe not as comfortable doing their wiring, they have a board and Jan will wire everything up for them with all the little bits and pieces that you need. Um, terminal strips, some grounding wire, just whatever, whatever it is you're needing. Um, and for those that are comfortable doing the wiring but aren't really sure what to get, you know, we have a wiring kit. I'll go through that briefly here at the end of a minute. But you know, we also have, you know, our Evans coolant that we use. We also supply that in a lot of kits. That's pretty standard. Um, not so much if it's going overseas, um, just for shipping purposes. And then we also have things like the RV-12 shield, if it's a Vans aircraft that goes out, it's that little fiberglass piece that kind of helps make things easier. We have seat belts um, for the Zenith aircraft. We use those a whole lot. Um, something that we also have, stepping away momentarily, we have these um, nose wheel spacers and we also have the curved nose fork, which is really nice. You can see me now which is really nice because um, the curved nose fork for a lot of the stole type aircraft where they want that extra ground clearance and are able to get like a longer prop to really maximize on the stole. Um, so we have that nice spacer as well. It's curved. You can also put your, um, I don't remember what that's called. Um, you can also put your tow bar, it's a tow bar. You can put your tow bar in there and kind of drag it, pull it wherever you need to right into the nose fork as well. So that's that's kind of a really nice add-on. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, something else that we have is the heaters. Um, a lot of people want a heater depending on where they live. A lot of people don't. Even here in Florida, we have a heater even if we're only using it two weeks out of the year when we're flying. It's a huge comfort item. Um, it's really easy to install. We, install. we have a whole video on that. Um, really, really simple. And then we have a lot of maintenance pieces and oil filters and that kind of stuff back here for people. Um, so we keep it all back here, ready to go, but I'm gonna kind of show you what's in this wiring kit just so you get a good idea. So I've kind of popped open one of these wiring kits that we do. As you can see, like these are your electrical fittings or your through fittings. We use those a lot, along with a little heat gun and heat shrink tube. A lot of the tools, a lot of the breakers, all the switches, all your fuel grommets, your terminals, um, your big grounding cables. So we give a pretty standard kit here. You've got your loom, even more cable. But this helps you get started um, and is a pretty standard kit for most aircraft. If you need a piece here or there, at least you know what you're looking for. It makes it a lot easier than trying to piece and part everything from spruce 
and kind of figure out what you're gonna need. I'm gonna dig into this section a little bit. It's not used with a lot of our setups, but again, we try to keep everything just here and in stock and ready to go if you want it. So for a lot of these pusher type planes we do, like for a sea ray or something, a lot of them will wind up using this five inch prop spacer to get the ground clearance or well, plane clearance. Um, so they're not hitting the hull. Um, and they'll use this five inch spacer. Now we also have little things like you've got your little digital angle protractor. This is kind of our prop section, our standard prop spacers. We've got prop spacers that go with the variable pitch prop. Um, we have these, this was something else I forgot to mention. Uh, there it is. Um, so this is like one of the long console panels that go in the Zenith. Um, so you can kind of customize it. They're already powder coated. It's already set up for a Viking view or you can cut off the top depending on what you want to do. Then again, we have a bunch of K&N filters for all the different engines we have and some gauges and some little bottles there with K&N oil. So little things like that that make the whole build process a lot easier. So I talked a little bit about the pre-made boards that we do, but here's one of the pre-made switch panels that we also do. So you see all the breakers, obviously the key goes there, all the switches, and it's got it all set up here in the back as well. And that'll be wired a little, a little bit more even so. So that's kind of your standard pre-wired uh, setup you have. And then the Viking view goes on the top. If you're not using a Viking view, you can obviously get rid of that section. Um, but that gives you a nice pre-made thing and you can save a lot of time in your build by just popping it in and being done. Okay, so our Kitbox 7 kit is all boxed up and it's getting ready to be picked up and then it'll be on its way to Arizona.